Are you ready to fail miserably with me? I suck at cooking. So today, we're gonna make vegan cheese. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, we can do this, we can do this. There's only like 800 things that I need to successfully achieve in this for it to taste even remotely good. Okay. <laughs> Super awkward angle. Okay. We need a butternut squash. Field. This is gonna take a really long time. Okay, why is peeling a squash so hard? So far successful. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give up on the squash. It looks like a murder scene out here. So much respect for people who who have to cut up these fruits. They're fruits, right? These fruits, squash things. No, I will succeed. I will achieve. The squash will not defeat me. If at first you don't succeed, find another peeler. You did it. It's a squash graveyard. Over your eyes. Like a pumpkin, you gotta scoop out the insides. Mm. Hard. I'm going to put the onions and the butternut squash in a pot to boil with vegetable stock and so that'll hopefully make it a little softer and easier to blend. At least that's the plan. Okay. So while that is cooking, it's gonna soak up the vegetable stock which will make it easy to blend. So the other ingredients that I have are lemon juice, 
soaked cashews. I soak them for about eight hours. Salt and pepper. Oh, and garlic powder, turmeric, and paprika. Fingers crossed that this turns out because if it doesn't, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I made such a mess. Mm. I'll come back when the butternut squash and onions are stuffed. That looks disgusting. Just like me. So I just want to give a major shout out to my best friend Allie who is vegan and she is who I am making this video for. I am not vegan and um, I don't know if I ever will be but from what I've seen today, I don't think I'm talented enough to be that and I'm really sensitive to soy, which is 90% of what um, a lot of vegan food is made out of, but I still think that it's really great that she's vegan and I really appreciate that she is and when I go over there, she's like a master chef, she can cook anything and so this is my best attempt to basically make a cheese sauce uh, and it's going terribly, so I guess we'll see how it turns out at the end. But it looks like the butternut squash and onion is basically all soft now so we're gonna drain it and hope for the best so right now i'm just gonna put this in the blender um i'm going to drain the cashews that have been soaking put them in the blender as well add some lemon juice salt and pepper um i haven't been using exact measurements so this is definitely gonna go very badly or really well considering sometimes i'm lucky and sometimes i'm not so, I guess we'll see. So I'm just going to drain the cashews and give them a quick chop just so that they are ready to go in the blender. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All chopped up. And we'll just give them a nice little scoop inside. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Some pepper. Say a quick prayer and <laughs> we're gonna do this. <sighs> I think right now it's probably just gonna taste a lot like weird butternut squash soup. So <laughs> we'll see. So it's a little runny. I probably should have taken out some of the water. Here goes. I mean, it definitely tastes like butternut squash, but there's a little bit of cheese in there too, like it. <laughs> okay, wait. Did this actually work? I think I'm gonna add some more salt, some more lemon juice and spices, but I think this actually worked. It tastes really good. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I 
All right. Let's just add some stuff. My name is Lex. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe and tell me what you'd like to see next. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. <sighs> I'll see you guys next.